Sorry, guys. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk to you guys in reference, and uh, basically about the sport of wrestling. One thing about the sport of wrestling, I know it gave me a million and one opportunities that I am so grateful for. And I know I did not start wrestling until I was a freshman in high school. You know, if you guys want to be the best you can be, that is awesome. But the one thing I want you to do is I want you to set your goals. Number one goal in life, be the best possible person you can be. That's number one, by far, utmost, no excuses. Second thing, better be your academics. I know some of you guys maybe want to be state champ, national champ, world champ, whatever the case may be, maybe district champ, make your varsity team. Whatever it is, make sure you do good academically because your four years of high school are going to determine the opportunities to go to the college of your choice, hopefully to study the career of your choice. And that opportunity might, uh, you know, have a big impact on what you're going to do the next 40 or 50 years of your life. Now, if you want to be in, you know, district, region, state, national champ, that is awesome. But remember, principles one and two, goals number one and two, be the best possible person, best student you can be, all right? Then you can be the best possible wrestler, or college coaches are not going to want you. Now, I had a lot of kids that were two and three times state champs that wanted to come wrestle for me when I was a college coach, and I did not want them in my programs because of their social life and the things they do outside of wrestling. I just didn't want it in my program. To me, it was cancer, and I don't want it, I don't want it spreading and getting worse. But I know myself as a freshman, I was 13 and 5. I was like, all right, you know, it's kind of an okay season. In the state of New Jersey, there are districts, regions, states. And I remember going to the district tournament, and I ended up losing two matches. I ended up finishing my season 13 and 5. I ended up taking fourth place. I was bummed. I made a vow right then and there that the following year, I am not only going to win the district tournament, I am going to pin my way through it. So I remember that summer, I wrestled over 100 matches. I had less than 20 as a freshman. So that means when I had over 100 matches, say 20 times 5 is 100, that was over five seasons I had that summer compared to the guys that weren't competing. So I was a sophomore, junior, senior, freshman, sophomore year in college experience-wise compared to the guys that were not competing. So my sophomore year, I had a really good year, you know, I was 24 and one, my only loss was in the States, a two-time state champ in the quarterfinals, second match. We didn't have wrestlebacks back then, you know, back in the 1800s, and, you know, it just kind of sucked. So, um, basically, I felt like I earned that right to win. I was working out all the time. And the one thing that you guys got to do is you've got to earn that right to win. And you've got to work your butt off, you know, and I know that wrestling gave me a million and one opportunities. You know, I met some of the best people in the world. No, not wrestling, I mean people. And to me, I couldn't put a price on that. It gave me an opportunity to get a five-year full scholarship to Syracuse University, which right now is over $40,000 a year, so I saved myself over $200,000. That's awesome. It gave me an opportunity to travel overseas and go to Germany like over 20 times, Austria a bunch of times, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Switzerland, Turkey, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, France, Romania, Hungary, England, Spain, Russia, Japan, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Argentina, Canada. It sent me all over the world for free. They gave me one job. Open up a can of wood. I'm your man. <laughs> you know, I got to travel around the world. All I can do is beat people up. That was awesome, and it was legal. So, basically, if you want to be the best that you can be, don't cheat yourself. Life is way too short. The largest club in the world is called the Shoulda, Woulda, Coulda Club. Guys, I'm in it. It sucks. I'm not an Olympic champ. I'm sure a lot of you guys have not obtained all your goals yet. So, you, if you want to obtain them, make sure you earn that right to do that. You know, I want you guys to be the best you can be. Bottom line is, when you get done with practice and you look in the mirror, you should be able to say, I worked so hard today, I can't wait to work that hard tomorrow. And if you don't feel that way, you better go home and work out again, which we, I do all the time anyway. I did my whole career, I still do with my kids. All right? But if you want to be the best you can be, don't cheat yourself. There's a quote about looking in the mirror called the man in the glass, and it goes like this. When you get what you want and you struggle for self and the world makes you king for a day, just go to the mirror and look at yourself and see what that man has to say. For it isn't your father or mother or wife whose judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the one staring back from the glass. You may be like Jack Horner and chisel a plum and think you're a wonderful guy, but the man in the glass says you're only a bum if you can't look him straight in the eye. He's the fellow to please, never mind all the rest, for he's with you clear till the end, and you've passed the most dangerous, difficult test. The man in the glass is your friend. 
You may fool the whole world down the pathway of years and get pats on your back as you pass, but your final reward will be heartache and tears if you've cheated man in the glass. Guys, don't cheat yourself. Life is way too short. And all before you know it, you're going to be out of high school, you're going to be out of college, looking back on the glory days, wishing you did a lot more than you did. And I, I know for a fact that you guys saw some great stuff today. Did you guys learn some great stuff today? Yes. I didn't hear you. Did you learn some great stuff today? Yes. Are you guys going to be able to turn and torture a lot more people this year? Yes. Did you guys have fun today? Yes. Do you guys think I'm crazy? No. Yes. I guess I did my job then. <laughs> guys, I want you guys to realize wrestling is a great, great fraternity. It's, a big, it's the best one in the world. And not only that, I saw some unbelievable ability in this room. And everybody here has been given a gift. God's gift to you is the talent he gave you. Your gift to God is what you do with it. So be the best possible person you can be. Do the best you can academically. And hopefully wrestling on top of those two things will open up a million and one doors for everybody. I hope everybody had a great time. Guys, good luck to you. God bless you all. Thank you very, very much for having me.